something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Talk to us. Who That's we got homie. in the room today? Our family. Who we got in the room today, ladies and gentlemen? Our homie. Let me tell you something. Oakland, I promise you, Oakland, on everything I love, I'm going to put my whole heart on the plate right now. If you are in the Bay Area, if you are in Northern California, <laughs> and when you talk about this industry of entertainment, and you talk about how this industry economically empowered so many people, so many people got rich off of it, so many kids have gone to college, uh, so many executives have soared and uh, accelerated and profited from it. Um, but not everybody who's done that has done the justice that's deserved to the place from whence they came. Mm. And I tell you this right now, Oakland, we talk about a lot of iconic figures in Oakland, whether it's the Golden State Warriors, the, the Raiders, or the San Francisco 49ers. Or Felix Mitchell. Or Felix Mitchell, <laughs> or Uber, or uh, Facebook, or whatever, Silicon Valley. Sheila E. Sheila E., right? Oh, Come yeah, she on. she is from Oakland. Tony, mm -hmm. Tony, Tony. Short. Oakland. MC Short Hammer. Dog. Pointer Sisters. Okay. Oh, wow. Edwin Hawkins Singer. Pointer Sisters. Tower Power. Come on. Carlos Santana. Mm. Sly and the Family Stone. Oh, Grand uh -oh. Central Station. Uh -oh. Did you say the Slash? What? Wait, who, who did you say? Pointer Sisters. Sisters. Pointer Sisters? Yeah. Okay. Pointer Sisters. Yeah, you know, the beat comes out. Rapping Forte. Rapping Forte. Fowdy, sort of. Sway and King Tech. <laughs> you better say that. <laughs> and Entice. Uh, okay. Entice. Uh, enti <laughs> soul Beat. <laughs> yeah, Soul Beat. Chuck baby. Johnson. That's right. The Birdcage. The Birdcage. Dorsey's Locker. Crosswinds. Uh, 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 Mr. G Screaming Eagle. Come on! Come on! No. Damn. <laughs> uh, 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 that's that crosswind. Jeffries. The Thorn and Thistle. <laughs> right, this is like dominoes right now. Yeah. Mr. FAB. <laughs> you ain't Come got on. Mr. Hold on, hold on. The Scottish Rite Center. Um, the Oakland, uh, Oakland, not, uh, the Oakland Auditorium. You know, we used to do the Oakland I'll give you that. I'll give okay, you that. Okay. The Count. The Count. The Martinique. Ooh. The Omni. <laughs> um, the Safari Room. Everett and Jones. <laughs> That's a restaurant okay. slash entertainment. But it's place. iconic, though. It is. It's iconic. It counts. Uh, it counts. Uh, what's the one? Nailed them. Yoshi's. Yoshi, <laughs> which you know you can go that back to, good. like Passans. That was Berkeley. Passans, yeah. Passans. Wow. Uh huh. Oh, wow. The, uh, wait a minute. The, uh, what was that other one? The um, uh, the Birdcage. The Birdcage. So the Birdcage <laughs> was owned by my family. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Wesley family. No, too. but I used to do the bird cage, and they used to have spaghetti dinners in the back. Yeah, you man. You get spaghetti and potato salad, and some drinks, and some comedy and stuff. Potato mm. salad, drinks, and comedy. And spaghetti. Wow. You are an institution in itself to Northern California. Oh my God! You are an icon, walking. You are a goat. You have upheld the realness and the trueness and the transparency in which we are made from. Yay. You are in all of our DNAs, and you <laughs> witnessed it all, all of us. Linnell, I used to call in the Soul Beat and talk to you live on TV, on the cable network. You have been in the DNA, the soundtrack of any success that we have seen in recent decades that have come out of Northern California. And I want to say congratulations to my sister. I'm proud of her. She's one of the funniest people in the business and Max. have consistently been there for years. She has her new show, Chappelle's Home Team, Linnell Town Business. Town Business. Is here. Yes. 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 Town Business. And the reason people say, how come you so cool with Dave Chappelle? Number one is Dave Chappelle is just a cool ass dude. Totally. Number two is Dave Chappelle spent a lot of time in Northern California in the 90s. Yes. And we received him. And I, just, just like Cat. Just like Cat just Williams. Like Cat. Mm -hmm. Yes. The other goat. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The first goat to put me on. Yes. Mm. Because nobody in the business 
nobody, nobody, no matter how much you love them, no matter how much you support them, nobody ever took me on tour but Cat Williams. Wow. Not one comedian. Mm-mm, not one. And he took me twice, 15 years apart. Wow. How did, how did y'all meet, Linnell, you and Cat? In Oakland. Wow. In Oakland, just fighting around. And then um, in L.A., he went to L.A., I went to L.A., Mark mm-hmm. Curry had already went to L.A., Laura Hayes had already went to L.A. It was, it was time, you know, you're either going to stay in the circle and just keep doing Jeffries and, you know, Jimmy's and Jeffries and Jimmy's and Vintage and da 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 just keep doing that, or you got to go, mm-hmm. you know, at some point. Depending on what you want, some people don't want international world domination fame like me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so, some of them just want to be the hood classic, and that's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. But not me. Not you. Mm. Is this your time? Is this out of your entire career? How would you describe this moment? Well, I would say that this is as much time as as I could have hoped for okay. of course you know when i was on tour with cat it wasn't my tour it was his yes. you know when i was doing oh. shows with they before they weren't my shows they were his i've done specials with snoop bad girls of comedy i've done funny women of a certain age i've done things out in canada just for laugh, but they weren't about me yes mm-hmm. those trucks weren't set up for me mm-hmm. they were set up for something else and i just happened to be there collateral damage but for <laughs> Chappelle to put more than just a stand-up special. This is a whole-ass love letter. You know, from the beginning, if you've seen it, from the beginning with the airport yeah. visuals, mm-hmm. then the special, which reinforces the airport visuals, and then the love letter at the end, because, you know, some people uh, are film buffs, and they'll freeze it mm-hmm. and read. I wrote a thank yous. I wrote thank yous just like on an album cover. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you to this person, that person, and to Beautiful. the town and everything like that. And then with the retrospective photos that are there during the credits. And and to top it off, we're going to have Oakland Tone. We have Oakland Tone. Guapale singing at the end of Guapale. the day. Guapale. Shout out. Oh. Oh. My, my sister right there. Just send me Guapale. Just send me the candles. You get the candles? Uh-huh. You, you got the Guapale candles? Yes. Come on, man. She, yes. She's beautiful. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I it, it, shout out to Namani, her brother, who's out there making things happen. We're gonna be doing some events in Oakland, yeah, uh, really soon. Absolutely, I've, I've done, I've done, I've done enough events in Oakland because you know I come from the old do comedy in a Royal Park, a Royal on Park a table. Oh I did, gosh. I did comedy at, at Nolan Park on a picnic Nolan table. Nolan Park? Did you go to the zoo? Afterwards? I went to a little piss <laughs> pole zoo. Yes. <laughs> All our animals was tied, woe out <laughs> on their last leg, old bald ass lions and shit. Bald ass lions. No, I, I, you know, come on, Nolan Park Zoo, is, you know, Oakland Zoo, the struggle, the struggle Zoo. That's wild. <laughs> Them animals are safer in that zoo than they are outside the cages. Oh, that o- is for sure. Yeah, we, we, you know, Oakland is such an amazing place. It's magical. That's why so many people from all you name, Dave Chappelle to Cat Williams to Drake, everybody has come to Oakland. Mm-hmm. And become Prince. Re- Prince. Prince got a lot that. of his people from Oakland. Mm-hmm. Right. Did Prince you- got Rosie Gaines from Oakland. Mm-hmm. Prince got Bonnie Boyer from Oakland. Mm-hmm. Prince got Sheila E wow. from Oakland. He had a club in Oakland on Grand called Glam Slam. I remember like that. that. Yeah. Wow. It, was by, it was by the Grand. Prince fuck with Oakland. By the Grand Lake Theater. Yes. 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 It was. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Prince, Prince fuck with Oakland hard. Linnell was there. I mean, you know, look. Did you? Oh, did wow. you? What but, is that? But, but loyalty to it. Michael as well, though. Prince That's perfect. I'm you got a fan. tattoo of Prince symbol. I have a Prince symbol mm-hmm. tattoo on my right microphone hand. But I felt bad because, you know, everybody, Prince, Prince, Prince. But let's not forget about Michael. Michael Jackson, right? So I felt, you know, all your life, when we was growing up, mm-hmm. it was always pick one Prince or Michael, Prince or Michael, Prince or Michael. Whose team are you on? I'm on both their teams, so I got bad uh-huh. right here on my left hand. From when she did the bad album, oh, bitch needs some lotion. Oh, Damn. Huh? Okay. Get, get Linnell some <laughs> lotion. A banana on oh my, my hand or something. Damn, okay. now, what happened to the wine? Shit. Okay. Okay. Here we go. The so, fuck? so since it's in honor, I, I've asked our friend Ingrid. Um, Bess. Ingrid Bass is a my sister, but friend. Uh, colleague, the whole nine. We worked together in the nineties. We had a promotion company called Streetwise. Okay. And so well, that's how come in the nineties, when you start like around ninety two, ninety three, and then mid nineties, you start seeing all the rap groups 
Wu Tang Clan, Black Sheep, all these different people, Brand Nubian, Naughty by Nature. Mm. All, who else? Big Pun. Big Pun. Who else we were working? We, uh, Lil Kim, Biggie, yep. uh, Craig Mack, all yep. it, all Total of these. Mace. Total Mace. Mm-hmm. These were all the people we worked their projects to make sure they made an impact in the Bay, so we could bring more economy to the Bay, more events in the Bay. Right. And that was uh, my partner, King Tech, me and and, and Ingrid mm-hmm. Crystal. A.D., who was my uh, partner in it. Mm. Ingrid has gone on to start her own wine company. Yes. Oakland. Hear <laughs> right. me out. Right. It's called I Best Wines. Yeah. I told Ingrid, Linnell is coming. She said, can I give her a bottle? I said, you might have to give her a crate, Ingrid. <laughs> <laughs> this is Linnell. All right, so Ingrid, you got a bottle for her? Yes, I do. And I want you to try the wine. You mentioned that you like red wine. Yes, but what else did I say? You <laughs> said, I don't like dry, and I like Shiraz. And I said, you know what? Our red blend is Cab, Shiraz, Petite Syrah, and Malbec. Right. Okay. I'm probably going to pass out because I haven't eaten. <laughs> okay. And I'm extremely exhausted. But I'm going to take, okay. one, take, we'll take one for the team. Okay. There you go. Yeah. You're I'm in so a safe place. Take one. <laughs> and Get mine is pillow. liquid grapes, so it's kind of like eating. So it's sort of like breakfast, huh? Yeah. 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 my fruit. And I got a banana. Yeah, for some <laughs> potassium <laughs> afterwards. So now, oh, yeah, Yo, might need that. Hey, listen. Now, hey, cheers, cheers. Cheers. I got some cheers, white wine. Baby. I got some too for I love you. Give it up for the man. This is to this is to a man. Amazing career, yes. consistency, yes. keep going. Yes. Linnell is tenacity. here yes. with a tenacity. <laughs> Come on, resilience. resilience. From Think Like a Man yes. 2 to Dolomite yeah. is my name. A star is born. Spring breakdown. Mm-hmm. All about Steve taking to coming to America. <laughs> All the things she's done. Let's salute and celebrate Linnell Absolutely. right now. Bay Area's on, Oakland's on. You know. Come on, we're going to come back, open these phone lines. Let's get them. Yeah, let's stuff. open the phone yeah. lines. Hey, citizens, <laughs> call up. 888-742-3345. Way in the morning, the sexiest comedian on stage. The sexiest comedian on stage. Tell Say it the again. Truth. There's Say a lot of is. sexy comedians on stage. Tenacity. But not one of them is sexier, more empowered than the one we have today. Say it again. Not one comedian <laughs> is sexier or more empowered than the one we have today. I can hear it one more time. Not one other comedian <laughs> is sexier or more empowered than the one we have here oh today. The nail is here. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it were, maybe, oh, how many to have a residency in Vegas? Mm. We have discovered how impactful and huge that is. I'm the only black woman. With a comedy residency in Las Vegas. The ah! only. I'm not the first. I'm not the first. But, but the, I'm the only one there now. Currently, she's the only oh. black woman you can go to Las Vegas <laughs> and see doing comedy in a residency. That's right. In the world. That's Jimmy Kim, Jimmy Kimmel's Comedy Club every Sunday and Monday night, 9.30 p.m. Behind the link under the big Ferris wheel. Ooh, I like how you said that. <laughs> That's my nine seven six voice. What's what's some of the what's some of the like people wouldn't believe what you've had to endure over the oh, years. Please, come on. Okay, let's see. I um am the eighth of eight children. Uh huh. Oh, wow. Eight of eight. I'm the eighth of eight. So that means she didn't eat. <laughs> no, I ate well because I wasn't raised with them. <laughs> ah, wow. Get out, Lanelle. <laughs> you got to go Fortunately, <laughs> but I was I was raised in in the Bay Area. Yeah. My brothers and sisters were back in Arkansas. Girls, me and this nana. And um, then I uh, uh, have seventeen nieces and nephews. Wow. Mm. Um, my sister was murdered. Mm. My father was murdered. Um, I lived in the car. I had a crazy Las Vegas marriage. I was incarcerated when my daughter was a baby mm. for a bank robbery. I set it off. Wow. <laughs> set, set it off. off. Set it off. You and drove the car or you pulled the gun? What you do? I, I didn't do neither. I put the money in my bra and walk out the motherfucking door. Let's like go. town business. <laughs> <laughs> And that's how you do it. No, <laughs> no accomplice to snitch on me. So how you got Listen. caught? Oh well, the amount of money that I took was a felony. It was over fifty thousand dollars, and this was years and years ago. Felonies never go away. Yeah, only misdemeanors go away. Had a felony been able to go away after the statute of limitations ten years, I'd have got away with it. But because it didn't go away, 
way when I, you know, I I, I confess after several audits, and then I was able, <laughs> and I was able to uh, get out of my own reconnaissance. <laughs> and they said, when you come back to jail, we gonna send you. I was like, all right, pew, I went back to Oakland town business. Town business. And uh, when I was doing comedy there, I was always nervous because my name was in the paper and all this shit. But what happened was I had my baby and I applied, uh, as an Oakland uh, unwed mother would do, I applied for uh, aid and my social security number crossed out. Oh, 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 and it's her, it's her fucking fault over there. <laughs> yeah, going, her daughter's here. Say hi to your daughter. Tell them your daughter's hi. name. My daughter, Janelle. Hi, Janelle. Janelle. Pim, pim, pim. Gorgeous. Yes. I'm trying to figure out how big that bra was For to get 50 real. racks in you there. You got 50 Lanelle racks in your bra? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Because I work at the bank, so it's embezzled oh, now. Oh. Yeah. But it's still bank robbery, which it's sound more thuggish to say bank robbery. Robbery, yeah, you sound hardcore. <laughs> that, look, the, 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 the time was the same. Well, what the fuck you call it? Embezzlement or bank robbery or set it off, whatever the fuck you call it. Twin Towers Correctional Motherfucking Facility for Women, goddamn it, 536-3020. Damn, you remember It's not my, my motherfucking <laughs> booking number, you goddamn right, I don't know why? Why? Because it's ingrained in my fucking <laughs> head, that's why. Hey, how long you did, Lunell? Um, a mere four months and 18 days. Oh. But for a bitch who's never been incarcerated, <laughs> that's, that's really, you know, 24 hours is, is a long time. Did yes. you develop any friendships? Um, I did, and that was then, and I don't fuck with them bitches now. <laughs> but they did help a bitch out. No, no actually, comedy special alert. No, don't actually, fuck with them bitches now. I don't fuck with them bitches now. <laughs> no, I was actually very popular because I have a degree in English Lit. Okay. A lot of the girls I was in jail with was, you know, illiterate. Mm -hmm. They needed to write mm. letters to the judge. I would do that oh for commissary. Gosh, that's good. My hustle. Bitch, I know how to make a whole ass Christmas card with color. <laughs> <laughs> you got to take the M&Ms and you got to let them sit in little bits of water. And then the color comes off oh, into the water. Then you can paint with that. That is innovative. That's Damn. jail Damn. shit. Jail no. shit. Jail shit. Jail shit. Jail shit. Jail shit. Jail shit. You only get four months for 50 racks? I yeah, bad. right. <laughs> that's I'm a bad saying. bit. Oh, that was I was supposed bad. to go that to the is. penitentiary, <laughs> but because I only had one, uh, I didn't well, have no priors. priors. Mm. They, they didn't send to me. What yeah, did you I need the money prior. for? I didn't need it. I just took it. All right, let's let's get out of jail. She's free. All right, yeah. <laughs> she's free now. Thank you. Gonna make me just uh, trade this banana for some, uh, for some for some cigarettes. Some chips. All right, get my hair braided. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm curious too. When when I see you on giant stages, I see you open up for Cat. I see you on a roll with with Dave Chappelle. I see you on these movie screens. I smile because to know how far I remember. See, Sway, yeah. Sway knows the whole entire story, and only people from Oakland do. Yeah, yeah. The people, I did start, my first uh, set I ever did was in Long Beach, mm -hmm. and I met Robin Harris the very first night mm. I ever did comedy. Wow. Mm. I still have his business card at home. Wow. And it's wow. laminated now. Yeah, and um, and I don't have to dig it out. I know right where it is, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> and went and uh, from there, you know, met Young DL and all that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. But Sway knows every street I've walked, <laughs> every bus I've caught. How about that 82 L? Come on, that 82. What that 82 L? <laughs> no, but that L don't no, make as many stops as motherfucking limited. Yeah. Pew, you can get from fucking the suburbs <laughs> and Hayward and San Leandro downtown Oakland. In 10 like, minutes. Yeah. The 82L. Wow. The 82L. And the 40. Did the 82L go on the freeway? Did the it go on the 80? No, the 82L went all the way from like Hayward to downtown. On in an, on, uh, on International e e E14. E yeah. And then the 40 <laughs> went down Foothill where uh -huh. Sobe used to be when it was in the little apartment yes. before it moved over by Eastmont and okay. shit. The 73 went down. No, the okay. 70. Went down Two 73rd. went down 73rd, 73rd yeah. to the airport and uh -huh. shit like that. And, and, and what was the uh, Malibu Grand Prix? Remember that over there off the yeah, 880? About a, about a, yeah, right yes, next yes, to the Coliseum? Yes, yes, yeah, by the Coliseum. Yeah. Malibu Grand Prix. Wow. I think Janelle might have went to that Malibu Grand Prix. I'm not Didn't sure. You? So what, what do you consider, like, when I sat with the president in the White House, 
live on TV. Oh, bougie, oh, bougie that, ass. You heard me. That was we <laughs> <laughs> from the town, town business. Right, gangsters yeah, in the come building. On, gangsters in the White House. Fucked around, let a real one they in. Let a real one in. <laughs> <laughs> let a real one in. Let, let a real one in. Come on, it made him real. The, yeah, okay. they have to. Okay, that was a milestone for me. Yes. What do you consider a milestone for you in your career? Oh, this moment right now. Right this now? moment in time where I can come to New York and I have a billboard in Times Square. Let's come go. on, man. Wow, wow, that's beautiful. Not only that, not only that, but I got a billboard on Las Vegas Boulevard. What? Wow. I have a billboard. Wow. I have a billboard on Sunset Boulevard. Come on. And I have several in Oakland right now by the Bay Bridge. Come yes. on, come on. And at the 12th Street Bar Station. Wow. Yeah. Yes. 12th Street. And at some of them charging stations from you electric car driver motherfuckers. <laughs> wow. No, but from right. my daughter saw the lost my daughter saw the Times Square billboard before I did. Because mm. she got here a day before me. Uh-huh. She met with me. I did, you know, some other press out here. I did Sherry Shepard. I did oh, Good Morning America. Yes. Good day, New York. Do I smell weed? I hope so. Anyway, and so um, I'm trying to flashback. Damn, and you all right? So, uh, not, not really. Like a weed flash. Old girl got me drinking this wine for breakfast. I'm like, where the weed at? <laughs> I'm just some memory thing. I'm sorry. You all right? Uh, yeah, I'm Muscle okay. memory, muscle, muscle memory. memory. Muscle memory, muscle memory. But for my daughter to come to New York, and she's a dancer, and she danced under my billboard. You know, uh, I'm fucked up now. Danelle, you did that? Beautiful. Yeah, wow. I'll show it to you. I'm not so bad. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah so that's it don't get no better than that. I've had some great moments and stuff like that, but. That's you fire. know, I do it all for her anyway. What else am I gonna do? I only got one kid. <laughs> well, you Thank know. God, one one kid, one baby daddy. Bitches, that's how Bitches. you do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I think it's 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 um I think we've been taught wrong, incorrectly, on how we receive time and and how we correlate time with success, right? And people believe you gotta experience all your success early on or there's this clock that's running mm-hmm. and it's gonna run out and you're, yeah. gonna, you're gonna hit a you're gonna hit a plateau where you reach a certain age and then you can't wow. make more money or have more success I was told at 40 that that's when it starts to decline <laughs> I made more money speak on it wow I've had more success after I, after 40 than I ever did I had stress and strain but that was a part of the <laughs> The grind. Mm-hmm. My, yeah, yeah my, right? you know, my, my kid is going through it now, being okay. a dancer, you know, being mm-hmm. a dark-skinned girl, and, you know, and everybody's on this exotic bitch tip and all this type <laughs> of stuff. And, you know, and and, and, and just with it not being, uh, not being um, continuous. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You work, and then you don't work, and then you have money, and then you don't have no money. And I'm like, yeah, I, I've been there. I know what you're going through. What she has that I didn't have is a supportive and financially stable mm-hmm. yeah. mother yeah. who was able to pay for her to go to San Diego State mm-hmm. flat okay, out. Okay, Danelle. She, yeah. don't, have, okay. she don't have no, no uh, student loan student debt. Loan debt. Okay. And, you know, I had an extra apartment laying around, so she... Damn. Oh. Darling. She don't pay rent? She, she, she pays what she can. <laughs> You know when what? she can. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. Yo, that's a good life. That's a soft life. The girl. No, is my daughter. Did not get in the camera. Let my daughter's on this celebrity kid shit. She's she, like, oh. mom, I'm a celebrity kid. I'm like, bitch, who the celebrity? Yeah, sit because, right there. Come on, man. Sit, sit right there. Well, oh my god. You need you to be on the mic. My know. daughter's on the motherfucking mic. Where that wine go? Come on, Danelle. Go ahead. <laughs> I need some more wine. Right I here. need another shot. Please. Let's on. go. Let me get Danelle on the camera. I right ain't there. playing. Yeah, who can sister? Wait, turn her mic on, Tor. She, 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 she's, she's doing what Okay, lady, ladies and gentlemen, and the listening <laughs> audience. I swear, did you know me when I was pregnant? I don't know. Anyway, I thought DNA. it was me when you were pregnant. I was going to say, we might need to run a little DNA. Yeah, she kind of looked like me. No, she do not She okay. looked like her daddy. Oh, okay. Heather, <laughs> Heather, squeeze it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the bottle. Squeeze the bottle. Squeeze the bottle. Danelle. Yeah. You got her tight? Danelle. That's my daughter, Welcome Danelle. Welcome to everybody. the show, She's Danelle. She's beautiful. Let me, let me say this. If oh you, my God! I know a lot of artists sit and look at these interviews and their leisure. When you see this young lady, 
you see Danelle and you're looking for choreography. You're yes. looking for somebody who has oh a great God. image. You're looking for yes. someone to co-star with you in your video. Yes. Yes. Specifically, Usher, uh-huh. Beyonce, uh-huh. Drake. I'm hey. trying to. I'm trying to be. In, hey, hey, Drake. Does Drake talk listen? to? to the, yeah. Hey, yeah. Drake. He got hey. a channel here. Right here. Shh, yeah, Drake like works here. Hey, Drake. Hi, it's me, Lunel. I really would like to meet you. I come to Canada sometime because I do the Just for Laughs Comedy Festival. I know you like to laugh, Drake. I can make you laugh all night long. <laughs> so if you ever want want to sit around and share a very expensive bottle of wine and um, talk about life and have a few chuckles, I'm down. And in the meantime, give my daughter a job so I can get this motherfucker out the goddamn street. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. What you saying? Well, <laughs> We should have I mean, tit for tat. Should I do something for Drake? Right. They do something for me. Something for you. The we got the bottle of wine right there. And I think we should invite right. Lunell to Sway in the Morning Laughs, Lyrics, and Flows. Fast. Oh, yeah. We're going to do a broadcast next year where we're going to have um, um, MCs in. Com- we do a. We would do an annual comedy for search sure. at yeah. Caroline's and a lot of great But no comedy. more Caroline's. And no now. more Caroline's. Salute bitch. to them, ain't it? What so, happened to the white folks? The white folks? Yeah, the white folks that don't care about what happened. They didn't want to keep paying that. Well, bill. I know that. I know that rent was probably seventy five thousand dollars a goddamn month. More than that. Probably more. Oh. than the Times Square. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, they was a like, month. It was heavy. How long can you keep it up? Uh, yeah, and, you know, not every comedian is Lunell. Well, so. what they should have had did <laughs> was going to give me a residency <laughs> in New York as well. I could have done like you know Wednesday, Thursday. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, I'm sure the people would have come to see me. Absolutely. Anybody would have came. Not saying, not not saying I would have saved the club, <laughs> but this is New York and one thing, east, south, coast, everybody, don't you might be the shit where you are, okay? But when you come to New York, you better bring your motherfucking A game because these bitches ain't playing. One of the one of the goals for every comic, I think, is to crack New York. Okay. Yeah. Especially if you're not from New York. Because mm-hmm. they got their oh. clickish and stuff, too. Mm-hmm. But you got to be a bad motherfucker because New York gives a fuck. They give a fuck. Bitch, I don't care about your little comic view credit, bitch. What you going to do? <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> it ain't just the Apollo. Yeah. Right. Yes. You motherfuckers right. get seller. down. But I've never, I've never, I only have one bad experience doing comedy in New York. Huh. And that's because Rip Michaels always be putting 15 motherfuckers on the goddamn show. And one night, I was number like 15. Oh. And we was in the Bronx. <laughs> and it was about like 2.30 in the morning. Uh-huh. Everybody was tired and shit. They're like, bitch, we don't want to hear what you got to say. I'm like, me neither. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you and good night. There you go, Linnell, town business. <laughs> what about overseas, though? I'm curious, too, because, you know, comedy is about nuance. Sometimes it's regional. What about overseas? How, who was your best market and your worst market? Well, first of all, I have performed a lot overseas. Yeah. I've been to Qatar mm. on New Year's Eve. Okay. Wow. That, that is a st- <laughs> on New Year's Eve? New Year's so, Eve, well, no. I did Qatar. Wow. I've done Korea uh-huh. and Japan. Now, uh, here's the thing. Mm. The special, believe it or not, is going to be translated into 50 different languages. Oh. Oh, wow, you didn't mention that. Oh, and, you won the match. And going to be distributed in 125 countries. Hey, wow. hey wait, hold up. Oakland. Oakland, whatever you Town celebrating, is. you need to be celebrating Linnell. That's right. She's opening so many doors for wow. Oakland and Northern California, especially in comedy, but not just comedy. Okay? It's entertainment across the board. Does she have a Linnell Day in Oakland? Not. Do you have a Linnell Day? No, let me tell you about that, but let me just finish okay, one thing okay. about overseas. <laughs> the best audience I've had overseas were all military. Okay. Anything Salute military. Salute to the military. Yeah. Anything military is the best, best, best. They happy to see anybody. I, they happy to see a bitch put some perfume on. I be like, I throw these titties up in that ass. And, Wait a minute. Yeah, I know. I be putting on enough perfume to gag a maggot. Wait, what? I, I smell like a stray hoe. Oh. And they love it. Get out, Liddell. Yeah, Shout out to the Army and the Navy and the Air Force and the Marines and the Coast Guard. <laughs> So we need a Lunell Day in Oakland. <laughs> well, you do, but here's the deal. Let me tell you how Oakland done fucked me so many times. Mm. So remember when we used to have a Christmas parade? Yeah. And I used to always write to city council and say, can I ride it in the Christmas parade? They was like, no, bitch. 
And guess what? Now they don't even have a Christmas parade anymore. No well, that's because they don't have a, a draw. Well, they could. Santa, the draw. what's the motherfucking draw? Hello. You know, they don't. I just want to sit on Santa's lap and get a few presents, you know. Ooh. Damn. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy. You got some calls real quick. I know. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. John is in Cleveland. What John, up, John, go John? ahead, man. Hey, John. Hey, what's up? Uh, <laughs> I am a ambassador of uh, Sway 45. I got that, you know, a couple of years ago. Sway, what's up, everybody? Hey, what up? Hey, what's, what's up? up, what's up? Hey, hey. You, when you was in Cleveland, I, I took that picture of us and I posted, and I got like a fucking two or three thousand likes and huh? loves about that shit no. and you know and i was the one that was kind of talking shit we went back and forth but i i ain't say nothing bad because you would turn my ass up that part at the end of the day <laughs> you know i enjoy the, you know i enjoy you i love you and every time you come i'm always there and uh shit i'm fucking and i'm planning on in vegas at the end of the month and i'm gonna come fuck with you for that's real. Uh, that's awesome everybody i know from cleveland's a gangster <laughs> Yeah, that truly. I love yeah. Cleveland. Bum, they they bum, straight bum, up. Bum, bum. Danielle, <laughs> let me ask my let me ask my daughter something before we take another okay. call. Okay. So so Danielle, how has this experience? You know, you've been seeing mommy. I've been around and I've been around, not around, mm. not around. Everybody's used to daddy mm. being on the road, being in the military, going to work and that mm. road. But when mommy's not there to like tuck you in, and mommy's not there to check your temperature and stuff like that, it's been difficult. But now, mm-hmm. with the advent of the <coughs> The new house mm-hmm. and oh, and, and uh, uh, yeah, ah. mm-hmm. I, how does this make you feel right now, baby? Because I do it all for you, baby. <laughs> um, it feels unreal, and like I keep telling everybody, it's just the best inspiring story I could have. A lot of people look up to other people. Mm. I really can just look at my mom, and that mm. is enough. That Amen. is the inspiration. Wow. That's what I want to do. Um, That's what I want to look live at that like. camera right here. Look That's, at that camera. Which one? This one? This one right there. No. That, no That's yeah. what I want to do. That's how I want to live. That's how I want to carry myself. So it really is just inspiring. I think as, as kids, we don't get it. Um, I'm 27 now, so I kind of understand a little bit more mm-hmm. uh, what sacrifice means. Oh, wow. Um, wow. What what putting yourself, um, putting your kids first means. Like, you know, at, when mom's not there to tuck me in, I'm like, how dare you? But now that I'm older, I'm like... Thanks you for did the car. That. Thank you thanks, so much. Thanks for the car, um, Mom. By the way, um, can you call your people at Gucci real quick? I'm thinking about falling through. Yeah, you know, yeah. let's lose. Let's use these connects. All day. When's the jet leaving? Everybody, <laughs> when the my, jet leaving? My, yeah, no, yes, no, no. When, Dave, Dave summons me to come to Yellow Springs, and I knew that I was going to be able to get on on the jet. So I could bring a plus one. So ain't no nigga worthy right now. So <laughs> then, so I said I'll bring my daughter. My daughter didn't give a fuck about Dave Chappelle. <laughs> my daughter didn't give a fuck about me. Baby but my daughter gave a fuck about Sophie, Sophie. Yeah. Jet, jet, jet life. Jet, uh, jet, jet, life. jet life. Hashtag we jet life. We finally got up in here, honey. <laughs> got I gotta go through security. That is amazing. The nails yeah. off the chain, by the way. I yeah. can yeah. But see it's that. beautiful. And yes. a phenomenal dancer. Absolutely. Yeah. Phenomenal, yeah. phenomenal. Wow, Congratulations. that's Thank incredible! Uh, give Danelle a round of applause. Yeah. My baby, you know y'all follow her. Danelle, what's your social? Hashtag um, I T S D A N E L L E D O E E. It's Danelle. It's Danelle. Mm. On TikTok and on Instagram. Okay. No Twitter. Linnell, what's what's next? Well, a of TV course show. they're already frothing at the mouth for another special okay and this one would be an hour i'm sure i might produce it myself so i'm starting to work on a new show you know i think i might have to do part two two airplane shit because some more shit happened the other day Uh uh-huh i think i might have to do part two you know because these folks are still acting up and um I, of course, do have the desire to be the next black female in late night TV. I yes. love that. I think it's time. It yes, is. it's time. Yeah, the I time like has that. been done come like for the desert- diversity in late night, because late night looked just like the damn Senate. Old white man after old white man after <laughs> man. old white man. You know what? what? <laughs> I mean, I work for one that's not that old. Hi, Jimmy. I'm just saying. Jimmy that. Kimmel. Yeah, hi, Jimmy. <laughs> but everybody, I mean, you know. It's, it's time to get some, some... They've had sisters in late night before. I Mom, just don't feel like they have the right one mm-hmm. to click into late night. I am late Today. night. All I, yeah. I, ever since you've known me, yeah. all I did was work at night. Mm-hmm. You know, comedy don't... Sometimes it's in the day. 
you know, if you're doing old rest home or some shit like that. Yeah. But and it, it's mostly nighttime. My my life starts after six, and so I wanted to do like Jimmy Kimmel's got a sweet, 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 sweet spot. Like I think Jimmy a cool film, dude. Yeah, I just filmed with him. I just did Jimmy Kimmel on Tuesday, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tuesday. Good guy. Yeah, he's a good he's a good guy. He's like Adam Sandler. You uh -huh. know, he one of them white guys who care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And man. not a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> that rare. Yeah, yeah he got two unicorns right there. Yeah, he gives a shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they give a shit. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Linnell, we're proud of you. Give it a round of applause yes, for Linnell. Linnell. Come on, man. Come on. Make sure you watch her special. Chappelle's okay. on the town, business. Town, town business. I'm watching it entirely so this weekend, and, and I'm going to text you. Could please do. It's only 33 minutes, and I get on. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm dead. dead. You know and what? Then, and then um, <laughs> you, can follow, you can follow me on Instagram. That's right. No, don't say follow. I'm trying to get rid of three niggas now. You can write me on Instagram. <laughs> Wait, what? On my DM at Lunell at L-U-E-N-E-L-L. -L. Now, I may not get back to you as quick as before because since the special, of course, my DM is filled the fuck up. Yeah, like, you can dick pics. Filled the fuck up. So I try to answer people personally, but I think I'm coming to a time where I'm not going to be able to do that anymore. <laughs> okay. I like Danelle's not handling it. Does Danelle work or is she just. Okay, you in do. In between my dance jobs, um, in between that, the strike kind of slowed that Excuse down. Excuse me, she's on pro. She just, this was an audition to work for no, me. No, I'm on the payroll now. Oh, my officially. God. I love a child that understands what it is. Yeah, the strike what about the lift, mean? too. Yeah. The strike is about the lift. She gets it. She ain't leaving you. <laughs> she gets it. Well, there's nobody better than her. Yeah, I'll nobody tell you doesn't that. like me. Aww. Aww. Ain't nobody going to care like about me. Me. Yeah. That's your mama. Daughter. You can trust. Yeah. I got a little glass of wine. I think I'm drunk. Good. <laughs> we Welcome celebrate. Congratulations on all that you've done. Yeah. Okay? And I love you too. Tell me. You tell me. The motherfucker, I'm going to let him know. Yo, MC Hammer. I don't feel he Tremaine gets it. Tremaine Hawkins. <laughs> Here, Here we go. go. I'm going to stop. Here we go. Yeah, I'll be wild. Pimps. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Look, the Ward Brothers. <laughs> the Ward Brothers. Ooh. The Moore Brothers. Oh, Mickey Moore and the Oakland Natives out of here. The bitches. <laughs> oh, <that's bad. laughs> I think that's it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's in on the bitches. <laughs> in on the bitches. LA face with an Oakland <laughs> booty. <laughs> We want to thank Ingrid Best for coming by I Best Wines. Make sure you follow yeah, her. Yeah, that Ingrid. was good wine. We appreciate you. We'll be back Monday, God willing. And shout out to Heather. Yes. Heather B. Heather B. Let me tell you something, Heather. And I, I listen to this motherfucker in the I got one car that stays on series and one car that is, you know, AM. Okay. And um, Heather, I just want to say shout out to you that you have been a strong black woman holding mm. it down for many years. I'm at Real Sway across the board. <laughs> Get her out. It's Tracy G, Lonnie yes. Light. I'm at the happy hour, WHB. I'm leaving. I'm, I'm, about, to go, I'm about to go to HB it's Live. It's really DB. Follow right. me in channel 126. I'm about to go get it in for No Judgment Ooh. Friday. Hey, hey, oh, end oh, with oh that. no judgment. It, oh, I didn't get the message. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to end with Drake and J. Cole. Drake. Call me, right. call me, baby. Yeah. Okay, we're going to put that message out there so it's yes. great to see it, okay? Yes. Linnell, proud of you. You're amazing. Thank Keep going. You, baby. And we only at halftime.